I'm wearing pants. FYI. I'm a little chilly, but um, it's 2022. And the amount of times that I've literally typoed and written 2020 when I've like greeted someone like happy 2022 and I wrote 2020, I don't know why. But if this year's anything like 2020, I would not like to be a part of it. Okay, so first video of the year. How is everybody feeling? How did your guys' celebrations go? Because mine wasn't too swell. Just kidding. I mean, I can't complain. I got to spend time with my family. Got to take a break, relax. But I feel like I was really just like not having a good time towards the end of last year, I guess, 2021. So when the holidays were coming around, I kind of was not really in the holly jolly mood. Along with all this COVID stuff happening again. So I spent a lot of time alone, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say, during this little holiday season, which I don't mind. There's moments where that can be kind of depressing, and there's moments where I enjoy it, and I guess that's just life. On a more positive note, I do feel, I guess you could say, a lot more inspired to kind of switch things up this year and like I know that time doesn't really exist and you know new year is just another day and moving on to a new year doesn't necessarily mean anything changes but it does give you the opportunity to look at it as a fresh slate and I guess it all has to do with your mentality and if that new year will actually give you the motivation to shake things up change things up a little So I'm hoping January brings me some more excitement, some more opportunities in my life. I don't know, but you know, it's all things that you kind of have to work towards. You can't just expect things to come your way and be better or be different if you don't really do anything to change your life. But can we just talk about, uh, we used to talk about this lockdown. So if you're from Ontario, how do you feel? Are you pissed off? Are you upset? because I am. And the one thing, and I know this happens a lot and I always say this, oh my God, I've been working out, I've been working out. I actually have, and that's not a joke. Literally, I got a gym membership in November. So it's been like two months of me working out. Steady, guys, steady. There's some gains, is what I'm trying to say. I've never been so disappointed that gyms have closed. Oh, that's just not cute, Milo. You're on camera. You're literally on camera. Um, like I said, gyms are closing tomorrow, as a matter of fact. But luckily today, I can vlog my one and only gym experience for who knows how long. <sighs> Anyways, let me let you in on some of my New Year's goals, New Year's resolutions. Ooh, let me show you my journal, where I wrote them all down, actually. Ordered it off Amazon. As you guys know, I love journaling. I did write down my resolutions and I put them into different categories. I have career, personal, and health. Some of the ones that I am working on is that I wanted to find a hobby. <laughs> I kind of just want to find something else that I like doing that doesn't have to do with YouTube. So I want to get into cooking. Time to look for recipes. Pumpkin ricotta muffin? Okay, I'm not on the right website here. <gasps> oh, you know what I saw that looked so good? I actually liked it. It's like this Italian thing and it looked so easy but also extremely good. It is called Pastina. <laughs> I'm taking my camcorder to film this experience just to go to the grocery store because you know why not mix up the medias a little I'd also like to formally apologize for my appearance clearly looking cute was not on my 2022 goals I had a successful trip. I found everything I needed. Let's do a miniature haul. Prosciutto. 
I did find the Parmesan. I was looking for a while. I don't know why. I didn't see the Italian flag, so I'm like, hello. And I did get the pastini. I think this is like a different kind, but it looked exactly like the one that was in the TikTok. And lastly, I bought some razors. How do you expect to go out at the same time that I'm going out? No, truly, miss, please look. Oh my God, people fucking suck, dude. People actually don't know how to drive. They don't know how to look at their blind spots. Honestly, you guys are lucky I'm out here on the road because I actually know how to drive. You're safe if I'm on the road with you. If anyone else is, you're screwed. Time to chef it up, people. I'm actually super, super hungry. Classic Italian pastina soup, I think. Let me see if I can get a better angle. I don't know if that's a better angle. Don't ask me why I'm doing this, it's just easier than going to the sink. I'm also gonna simultaneously toast some bread. Um, this is for like my little sandwich, but I'm just gonna wing. This is really good bread with olives in it. turned out. I added a little bit more parm and olive oil to the top, just like the TikTok said. And to top it all off, a nest tea. Mmm, it's really good. It's definitely a comfort food, just like a very classic, simple little thing. I feel like this day went by really quickly, but the day's not over. It's just looks like it is. Right now I'm in the mood to do some reading. So this is a book that Margo sent to me. Shout out Margo. Love ya. The Inner Gym. A 30 day workout for strengthening happiness. Definitely need this. Another one of my goals actually that I didn't write down and I should is that I want to read more and I'm going to start reading now. So if you want to read right now with me then go right ahead. <laughs> pre-workout and I don't really I don't know maybe I'll get on it one day I just never have so I literally drink a coffee before I work out which same shit no it's literally just caffeine I'm taking you guys to the gym with me I am going to work out uh, my back upper back and I might do some core if I have time we're going a little late I'm gonna go with Mariella she's been my gym buddy recently and I just recently worked out my legs and glutes or else I would have liked to take you guys through that more because I'm more experienced on working out my lower half of my body. Obviously, I'm not a gym rat. I don't really know exactly what the hell I'm doing. Most of the time I work out in the little studio, but then when I have to use machines or like other equipment, then I'll leave because it feels a lot safer in there because not as many people go into the little studio with the mirrors and stuff. Christmas. I used to use t-shirts, but now I have one of these, which I'm really glad about. Let me show you how it's done. A little twist, and then you got this, just like that. I'm actually really sad, like, leaving the gym today. I, I kind of felt, like, sad. I really realized, like, how much the gym affects my mental health in a good way and, like, really makes me happy. I just got the Palmer's Cocoa Butter formula that I really like. Literally makes me smell like chocolate. And I, for some reason, have such a liking for oil on my skin instead of lotion. But I just shaved, so I'm literally going to put this all over my body. But you guys can't watch that. I mean, it's not for everyone. 
So that was my day. That was my fresh start in the new year. I have some different types of videos coming up. I also have different things that I'm working on that I'm excited and hopefully will come to fruition soon. Hopefully I have some exciting updates for you guys toward the end of this month because there's like a couple of things in like my personal life and career wise that I kind of want to make happen. <laughs> But I don't want to say it because I know it's like manifesting but also to me it's like almost jinxing it because I'm like sending it out to everyone in my heart I'll manifest it but to you guys I'll let you wait okay guys um I love you all thank you so much for being here in another year 2022 is gonna be our bitch <laughs>